454 Next Generation Sequencing is a technique which has been used to sequence DNA and to diagnose inherited retinal degeneration. The double-stranded DNA is fragmented into pieces of 400 to 600 base pairs by sonification, enzymatic digestion or nebulization. Nebulization forces DNA through a small hole in a nebulizer unit which results in a fine mist that is collected. Adapters are ligated to the ends of the DNA. The double-stranded DNA is denaturated into single-stranded DNA by bringing the temperature up to 95 degrees Celsius. Beads are added to the single-stranded DNA fragments. Each bead displays oligonucleotides with sequences complementary to the adapter sequences. Emulsion oil is added to the beads. This forms droplets which separates the beads. This allows for amplification simultaneously without contamination. Tens of thousands to millions of copies are produced on the bead surface. Each bead has its own unique single-stranded library fragment. The beads are added to a picotita plate. The design allows for only one bead per well. Nucleotides are added and pyrosequencing takes place. Pyrosequencing can be done with chemiluminescent and cymatic reactions. Enzymes are present during the first reaction. DNTPs are added in a stepwise manner. As an example, the adenine. DATPs are downdegraded by apyrase when the adenine is not incorporated into the DNA. This one is incorporated into the DNA and a pyrophosphate is released. The pyrophosphate is converted into ATP by sulfurase. The luciferin is oxidized by luciferase using the ATP. This generates a light signal recorded as a peak. Incorporation of two of the same nucleotides in a row gives a peak twice as high. And those peaks can be read as a sequence of the DNA. DNA with the known sequence is used as a control. Results can be collected and compared with reference genomes. An example is comparing your results with the results of the Human Genome Project. In case of diagnosing inherited retinal degeneration, 73 genes are sequenced and compared to the DNA sequences of healthy controls.